Let's bring in Leroy Chow, uh, former NASA astronaut and commander of the International Space Station. He joins us via Skype from Houston. Um, and good morning, sir. I really want to talk about this because a lot of people forget, but you as a NASA astronaut, you're very well familiar with how many accents it took for us to launch the American space program at the first time. So each time it happens, I know it's painful, but we have a history of terrible accidents to get to space. Well, I mean, in any development program, you're going to have a very robust flight test program. During that flight test program, there are going to be elevated risks. And with a new vehicle, uh, such as the Virgin Galactic vehicle, unfortunately, from time to time, you're going to have mishaps like this. So, I mean, it's part of the process. It's never good. It's never nice. Uh, but when you're pushing the edge of technology and you're developing something brand new, you know, you can't help but, uh, but have some mishaps along the way. I remember watching these first launches as a child in the 60s and thinking about the families and, and how their loved ones were at danger. We still have that same thing going on today. Each one of these people who goes into space or pushes the envelope, they have families who are waiting for them at home, but they know the risks. You know the risks when you took them, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, it's something I wanted to do since I was a kid. Most of us have wanted to do for a very long time. And so uh, we're very well trained, of course. We know the technical uh, issues. Uh, we know the, uh, the procedures, the operations. And so we're very well versed in what to expect. Uh, having thought about all that, we've decided individually that we want to accept that risk and go do these things because that's what we love doing. Now, let me ask you about the separation between privatization and still the NASA programs. Does that mean we're less organized about these things or are we better organized because there's two different parts of the uh, structure on space travel now? Oh, well, in, in any case, I mean, you've got oversight from the government through the FAA. And if NASA's involved, of course, then NASA is also going to be a part of that oversight, part of the process. So I have every confidence that the commercial sector is going to be just as safe. Uh, really, there's not a whole lot of difference because, because throughout NASA's history, uh, NASA has always contracted to commercial companies to build its rockets and spacecraft. Uh, you know, Boeing and Lockheed Martin and a few others, the big names, the ones you recognize. Even Orbital Sciences, though, the, uh, the builder of the Antares rocket, uh, they've been doing building rockets and yeah, launching for a while for about uh, over 20 years. Yeah, so Commander Chow, I've got one more for you, and that is, um, how do you feel about putting passengers in space? Is there any reason to feel like this is a less safe or not a good idea or we shouldn't be excited about it? Well, I think you can, you can be certain that uh, passengers will not be allowed to fly and board uh, spacecraft like that until they're fully tested and they're fully uh, certified by the FAA. And so, again, with this kind of oversight, it's, it's an analogy to operating airlines. I mean, airlines and airline ma airplane manufacturers are all subject to the regulations of the FAA, and the space industry will be the same. All right, Commander Chow, thank you so much for your time. Because for me, you know, we hear all these things. I just want to go to the source to find out the shape of the program, how people are feeling when something like this happens. So thank you so much, for, sir, for taking a moment of your time to spend some time with us on AMHQ.